I'm Christian Villegas, and thank you for joining us on this special coverage of the immigration crisis. Now, the Nogales Border Patrol Station is full of undocumented children coming from South Texas. Those children are crossing the United States illegally from countries like Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. Now, many people are calling this situation a humanitarian crisis. With us, we have Mayor Arturo Garino via telephone. Mayor, thank you for being here with us. Uh, thank you very much for having me. Mayor, well, lots of people are telling us that they see this situation as a humanitarian crisis. Would you see this as a humanitarian crisis? You know, at, at this point, it is very, very near that. And if it continues the numbers that uh, they're projecting for the end of the year, very possible that's what's going to turn out to be. Now, many people have toured the Nogales Border Patrol facilities, including politicians, consuls, and even us as journalists. Now, you were one of the first to enter the Border Patrol station when this whole situation started coming to Nogales. How did you see the facility when you first saw it? Was it healthy? Yes. Uh, matter of fact, uh, day in, day out, uh, work at, at the Border Patrol station is very, to me, it's uh, been a success. Efficiency is uh, improving every day. They're uh, working very really hard at, at ensuring that the children have their necessities, medical and food, and, and uh, the processing center. The, I visited the last week for the second time, and um, I, noticed, uh, I noticed that they had more phones now than the first time, uh, the phone bank, so that the children can uh, locate and, and contact. And I noticed there was at least about 10 of them uh, speaking on the phone to somebody. Uh, I don't know if it was either the, their consulates or speaking to some a relative, just advising them where they were at and, and so that they maybe can be uh, uh, joined down the line. Uh, and and that's, that's the direction everything's going with the processing center. When they go, they get transferred to another location. But yes, I feel very comfortable. I think, uh, I think uh, they're, the, they're about as safe as they could be, especially in the travels that they did uh, coming from Central America through Mexico. Now, as a part of the city government, the city of Nogales hosted a donation drive, receiving donations such as clothes, shoes. Has Border Patrol accepted those donations, and will the city of Nogales continue receiving donations? Yes, everything was accepted by Border Patrol. It was transferred through our police department to their Border Patrol station. And um, what we're going to do now is we're just going to hold back on it. Uh, until if there's a need down the road. When I was there the second time around, around I noticed that um, that uh, the children were wearing uh, uh, blue shorts and, and T-shirts that I think come from uh, FEMA. And But, uh, yes, everything was accepted. And another thing is if Red Cross comes into play and that protocol will probably be that uh, if there's any other type of uh, contributions, donations, or any volunteerism, it will probably go through the Red Cross because that's the type of protocol that, that, that is done uh, when uh, there's emergencies, emergency management uh, uh, situations. So, uh, but right now I'm very comfortable. They did accept everything, and uh, we took about, I want to say about five loads, uh, and everything was sorted. And I noticed uh, the second time, I noticed when I was walking around, the kids had the, the crayons and the covering books that were sent to the, our office. And um, I couldn't identify the clothing, of course, because uh, there was a lot of kids there. But, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's going to be something that uh, is going to be have to work, be worked out uh, from now on through FEMA and through the Red Cross. Now, you've talked to Border Patrol officials. Have they told you any sort of information, how long this will take, how long the children will stay here, and what's the process? Yes, uh, from what I understand, it could go through the summer, at least up to September. Now, it, it has a lot to do, uh, depends on what work they do in Texas. If in Texas they produce, they come up with other areas or military bases or other installations for uh, for processing, uh, it would probably uh, slow down a little bit here in Nogales. But Nogales being and the two Nogales and the Tucson sector being the largest uh, border patrol station in, in the southwest, that is the reason Nogales is being used for processing. So, it, it, from what I understand, man, Chris, it's going to probably go at least to the summer and up to September. Mayor of Nogales, Arizona, Arturo Ganino, thank you for being here with us. Well, thank you very much for having me, and uh, you know, if you need anything from my office and from City Hall, uh, we're there. Thank you. 
All week, different government representatives have been touring the Nogales Border Patrol facility. We spoke with Vice Minister of El Salvador to even Senator John McCain. On Wednesday afternoon, Vice Minister of Foreign Affairs from El Salvador toured the Nogales Border Patrol facility. She tells the media that on that day, there were 310 children from El Salvador out of 985. She explains to us how she sees the conditions inside. Las condiciones que yo he observado son diferentes, no quiere decir que sean las más óptimas, eh, en relación a lo que vi en Macalín. The conditions are different. Um, I'm not going to say that they're like, you know, better off than the ones seen in Macalín, Texas. And on Friday afternoon, Arizona Senator John McCain toured the facility and explains to us that he sees this situation as a humanitarian crisis and that all the children that is inside the station is an example of a broken immigration system. He also says that the children are being provided with food, clean clothes, medical care, and even giving the children the opportunity to watch the World Cup on TV. Senator McCain adds on saying that deportation in this case would be very expensive and that Vice President Joe Biden is talking to Central American government sending a message that the United States does not want any more illegal crossers to continue entering the U.S. illegally. Now do continue to follow us as we stay on this extensive coverage of this immigration crisis. Now for the latest updates, you could follow us on our Facebook page, Nogales Local News Now, or on our Twitter at NLNN Local News. I'm Christian Villegas, NLNN.